And there you go, you have an AI powered task manager web app that was fully completed with the help of Cursor. We all utilize VS Code as our primary code editor due to its refined and optimized platform for building and debugging code. It is developed by Microsoft's team and it's a great tool for many of us coders. But what if I am to tell you that there is an IDE that is AI centric and this is possibly the best AI code editor that's out there. Allow me to introduce Cursor AI, where you can practically do anything VS Code can, but more enhanced with a touch of AI. Now, I already made a video on Cursor before, so why make another one? Well, the reason is because of this new important update, the 0.37 Composer Beta Update. This is something that is quite revolutionary and it enables you for multi-file AI coding for engineers that ship. Now with this feature, you're going to be having immense efficiency and effectiveness when dealing with code. With the Composer update, you can edit across multiple files and you can do this simultaneously. You can integrate new components, apply different types of styles with the help of AI models like GPT-4 Omni or even Sonnet 3.5. Now the feature's potential for streamlining complex code base management is going to basically make it the best AI-based coding IDE in my opinion. And the great thing is that you can download this completely for free. Just simply click on the download button on Cursor's website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Once it finishes installing the packages or the installer, you can just simply open it up. It's going to start installing cursor. So once it finishes doing this, you can then have it loaded up and you can start utilizing it right away. And there you go. You have cursor AI opened up. Now, before we even get into showcasing this ID, let's basically emphasize on the new composer update. Shout out to this user for inspiring today's video. Now, if you're interested in recommending something that you would want me to make a video on, definitely comment that in the comment section below. So what is this Composer feature? Well, it's an update that introduces multi-file AI coding, and this is for engineers who want to ship code fast. There's many ways to utilize Composer within Cursor. And basically what you can do is deploy your own text file. You can open up a blank folder, and this is where you can create a requirement to basically have a text-to-speech app and in this case once this requirement is basically typed in you can then specify what you can then work with and how you can edit multiple files and in this case cursor includes different lms that you want to utilize so it'll include the different models for text-to-speech voice selection speech rate and all these other requirements will be auto-filled with cursor's other features now what you can do is save the file, open the composer window, and this is a command I'll showcase a little while later. And in this case, once the instructions have been set, you just follow the instructions to build a modular web app, and you basically request this to composer to actually develop. And within a couple of seconds, it's gonna then start working on developing this requirement or this instruction that you had given it. So we can see composer creates, deletes files, codes the files and shows the progress so it's going to showcase simultaneously all the different effects that it's making and within a couple seconds we should have this app develop and this is the ability of composer it's going to be able to update your files it's going to be able to integrate new components and apply the styles with the help of different models and you can see that this text-to-speech app was created within a couple seconds this is possibly one of the best ai coding development tools that i've seen I definitely rank this above many of the other ones that I've showcased on this channel. Now, before we get started, I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. And the great thing with Cursor is that there's many other features. Now, there's code generation that will basically auto prompt the generation of the code that you're going to be working on. There's multi line edits, smart rewrites, you have Cursor prediction, which will predict the next segment. You have a chat section where you can talk to the AI to implement different generations, asking questions, referencing your code, using images. You're going to be able to also have it so that it could also utilize different sorts of other references of your code base to make changes to your overall code base. You have different commands and I basically made a video that showcases all this. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at that, which will showcase what you can actually do with Cursor. 
Now, just take a look at this demo where you can quickly turn a UX screenshot that you see on the right hand side into a functional web page using Cursor AI. So there's a four step process. You first start off by using the chat function and that's by simply pressing Command L, Command plus L. And you can start using this chat function to get a basic outline of your web page. Just basically just describe what you want and Cursor will generate the initial structure for you. From here, you can use the composer, which is command plus shift plus I, and this will basically refine the generated outline using the composer. This is where you can give it a user prompt, you can adjust the enhancements, and you can create a design based off the composer structure. And then you will have a web page ready, and you can then refine it as you are basically getting a generation from cursor. You can iterate it until you're satisfied and you can basically make changes and tweaks to improve the design. And there you go, it had created this web app and you can see that it was something that was simply created within a couple of seconds and based off of an image UX screenshot. You can see that from a screenshot, it was able to code out the similar design and it used the composer to refine the generation and the outline of this web app. And it's quite interactive and it looks very, very nice. Let's showcase what you can do with cursor now. Now, what I want you guys to do is open it up and you can basically open it with an SSH or within a folder. So in this case, I'm going to just simply open up a random folder. I'm going to just create one from scratch. Let's create one and name it cursor code. And what we can do is just select this folder and then we can start editing and iterating within that folder. So now what we can do is have our new text file with the description of what we want to create over here and that's by just simply clicking uh, clicking on a new text file now what we can do is configure what sort of generation we want or what sort of instructions we want to give for this web app that we want to create with cursor's new composer feature so i have my instructions set and what i'm going to do is press the command l command and in this case you have a chat with AI feature. This is where you can utilize different models. In this case, it's utilizing the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model, and you can ask it whatever you wanna create. So in this case, I'm gonna start off by creating the basic outline of my app with the language model. It's gonna create the structure. You can then copy it and paste it into the web or the text description. And once it finishes doing this, I can then proceed forward with the next step, which is where I'm gonna utilize the composer. So there's three different components. You can then revert this to your main TXT or reply to it. You can also have it so that it is then played into the next column. You can test this out or you can apply the current to your current file. You can just simply click yes. In this case, you can create a new file for this. So just simply click on the play button over here and then outline it and apply the changes over here. And you can do this for each section of the code. So to use the composer command, what you might need to do is click on help and show all commands. You might need to search up composer. And in this case, you might have it disabled right now. So you might want to enable composer. Once you have enabled it on Windows, the command is control I. But if you're on, uh, I think on Mac OS or Linux, you can do command. Or sorry, not Linux, but if you're on Mac OS, you want to do command shift I. But now what we're going to be doing is doing the composer command which is control I on Windows. And now what we'll be doing is refining our code structure. To do this, we're going to be pasting in this prompt, which is create for me all files needed for the application to be functional and make any changes that you would need for a seamless UI. So we're going to send this in to the composer and this is where it's going to focus on indexing the, focusing on the HTML file. It's going to focus on the CSS file and the node.js file. So you can see all the changes being made and it's creating all the files required. And it's going to do this autonomously. And this is where we will then have a refined app after this has completed the step. And there you go. You have an AI powered task manager web app that was fully completed with the help of cursor. And you can see that you can add different tasks such as make a video, let's say on cursor ai let's give it a date in this case let's select the random one as today add this task and there you go you have a task list in which you can edit delete and you can even make it more intricate and then it will even showcase what sort of 
tasks that you have on certain dates over here within this calendar. This was something that I developed within a couple of seconds with the one single prompt within Cursor's Composer feature. This is the capability of Cursor, a new ID that will help you basically have AI integrated in each step of your development process. You're going to be able to easily develop different apps within a couple of seconds. So I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you take a look at this as this is completely free and open source. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free. Follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.